Hi friends, it's Sue. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm here to show you what I've been doing the first couple of, well, the first half of the month of July in my junk journal. I am loosely, very loosely following the uh, prompts for the junk journal July by uh, Meg at Meg Journals. And um, so, yeah, I don't spend a lot of time. Sometimes, um, you know, I I do a little bit more than at other times. But, um, yeah, it's a nice jumping off point anyway. So the first day of July was Spark. And um, that kind of made me, th you know, it, it was like a spark of something to write about. Uh, this little... This little piece, which is a cigarette card, um, had sweet alyssum uh, flowers on it. And that kind of sparked um, what I wanted to write about because it was also my daughter's birthday. And her name is Alyssa. And uh, we named her after the sweet alyssum flower. And uh, she was born July 1st, as I said. Uh, and I was teaching all the way up through... Um, the for at least the first week around the tenth of uh, June, and I was due around uh, maybe the third work week of June. Fortunately, she was about a week late. But um, yeah, I had planted um a list, sweet alyssum flowers the year before, and just never got around to my garden um in uh, the spring, and um. They are an annual flower, and yet they came back uh, that spring. So it, I took it as a sign and named her Alyssa. And uh, when I looked up the meaning, it was um, delicate but hearty. And so, yeah, anyway, that's the history behind it. So I just, that was my spark uh, that got me thinking about the flower and... Uh, coinciding with her birthday. The next day was postcard, very simple. I pulled out a postcard uh, that I had and um, just kind of did, a, had a stamp on the back that I was able to put. And then I just um, made this little pocket fold from um, some pages of stamps. And I did combine the two days into one because... Uh, yeah, so there was Tuesday on here. I didn't do too much. I was just working on uh, my fodder school lesson, which had dropped. Uh, the 4th of July, of course, we celebrate. And so I just found this um, this picture here. I don't even remember where it was from, but it was in my stash. I think I just found it on the Internet somewhere a couple years ago. Um, I put some labels on um this was this was uh some kind of freebie and it had this on here and this label was already this this and this label were already on there and then i added these three uh to it and then this is just a piece of uh notebook paper you know that you might you know put a grocery list on and i just uh wrote about the day there the next day was lettering, and there wasn't much going on that day, so I just um, did some lettering, and I uh, made a background here with some stenciling. And uh, the next day was wildlife, and I had this little poem sitting around from a children's book about um, about a a birdhouse and watching the birds, you know, as they were building the nest inside. And I have one of these outside my uh, kitchen window that I watch. And we frequently see uh, sparrows building nests in there. And uh, we empty it out ever so often. And we usually get uh, maybe a couple, two, three um, couples who build their nests in there throughout the season. So, um, yeah, in between, we just kind of clean it out and uh, get it ready for the next uh, couple of, of birds that will be coming along. And this is just uh, 
you know, piece of that. I wrote on the back just about the day. The next day was window, and I really didn't have much going on that day. So I just, I had this, I was looking around for, uh, through some books for um, a pretty picture. And um, I have this book that I picked up, I think at a, I don't know, some some store resale shop and has a lot of really nice pictures in it. So I've been pulling them out over over time. And um, so that one was just the perfect size. And uh, then I just created this uh, window, nothing too fancy here, nothing too artistic. Uh, but I just put that on top and I was done for the day. Uh, the next page, I wanted to keep this, so I kind of went through my stash and found um, some art papers, painty papers that I had made, and the word was observe, and I found this quote, it's kind of hard to see because I typed it out on vellum, but it was by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Sherlock Holmes um, author, you see, but you do not observe. So, um, that was that. Um, the next day was scraps, and this was just something we made in fodder school out of scraps. So I put that in there as a little tuck spot. And this, I, this poem I had, um, uh, kicking around in my stash for a while, and it, it tickled me. I, I really wanted to use it at some point because it, it talks about going to bed in the summertime when it's still kind of light out or... You know, you can still hear a lot going on. And uh, that was something that really ticked me off as a kid. My parents maintained my bedtime for me, uh, even though it was summer and I could have stayed up later. But now their feeling was, you know, we're going to get her to bed at the usual time. And I just, you know, wrote about hearing. It was probably around 8.30, 9 o'clock when I was in bed, but I remember hearing one of my classmates down the block at the park um, playing baseball and um, yelling, you know, and it just mm, ticked me off that I, here I was in bed and someone my own age was still out playing. But uh, anyway, this next page the prompt was thread, and I just had made a bunch of these. I forget where I saw the idea, but just throwing all your scraps down and then um, just making them, you know, just securing them by doing some stitching across the uh, um, all of the pieces and securing them that way on top of the uh, the glue that you had already used, you know, so... And this was just another little scrap that I put in there. And then, um, you know, wrote about what was going on. And I had this nice little uh, hidden paper clip, uh, which I used on this page. The next page was stamps. Well, we all have a lot of those, I think. This was something I had gotten in at the envelope that I, in which I had gotten Happy Mail, and I just loved loved it, so I saved it. Loved all the stamps, so I put that in there, covered up my address with some more stamps, put some more stamps up here, and then uh, just put a little journaling spot and uh, writing about the day there. The next page was packaging, and so um, I had bought some Krabby Patties for my grandkids, uh, to put in our candy jar. We have a whole collection of different kinds of candies. You know, I just got it at the Dollar Tree. So I just, you know, cut that up and um, made a little spot here where I could um, put in a piece of paper. This was, I think, uh, Kool-Aid dyed and um, just a little place for journaling. There we go. Put some ribbon on there. And the 13th was light. Yeah, I wasn't going to spend a whole lot of time on this. You know, you could delve deeply into some of these things, but I had some things sitting on the desk and uh, just cut them out. You know, the sun, light. Um, this was an ad. 
and I just wrote some things on the back. This was, I think, the day um, when there was the assassination attempt, so I was writing about that. Uh, homemade, um, again, very simple. I'll, this was just something I made. Uh, <laughs> pretty much everything in a junk journal is homemade, right? Um, so I just, I couldn't think of anything. I hadn't really made anything homemade other than this. So I just pulled that out and, um, with some extra paper, put on a little magazine image and made a journaling spot to go there. And then this was an envelope. So for the 15th, um, wrote about the weather. That was the topic. And, um, this day we had a lot of severe weather come through. In fact, our tornado uh, sirens went off. Um, we were down in the basement and uh, it, uh, we're not very far from O'Hare Airport. And um, apparently there was a tornado that touched down. I heard today that there were 25 in, across the Chicago area, uh, but um, we were fine. We didn't even have branches and things that were down. So um, it, it really wasn't too bad by us, even though the sirens were going off. Anyway, I think I will, uh, well, maybe I'll continue. The next day was petal. And I just took a bunch of um, petals off a lay at one time. And uh, so I had those in my stash. I just glued them down. And I met with some teacher friends for breakfast. We've been going out. Well, we've been friends since 30 years ago when we were all teaching together. So we still go out for breakfast every so often. The next one was aged. And I really couldn't think of anything for that. Aged, aged. Um, well, we have a, a group of older people I I'm probably the youngest of the bunch, but uh, we go out for breakfast a lot. And uh, we had this very young um, college student. She just graduated from U of I, and she's going to be a, a missionary to college students. Um, but she is she has a two-year commitment, but she has to raise the funds for her um, salary herself. Um, so she was meeting with us, you know, to kind of see if we'd be interested in supporting her ministry. And um, we had this, our seminarian and our two priests. So anyway, we just were, most of us are old or aged, um, or at least getting up there in years. So that was, that was the closest thing I could come up with uh, for that. Well, I did go around the outside and kind of age the paper with... Uh, um, yeah, so if you want to call that um, aging, you could, I guess. It's a stretch, but hey. So that's the way I roll with um, with uh, prompts. I, I don't take them too seriously or delve into them too much. But um, yeah, sometimes the jumping off point. So anyway, thanks for coming along. And I'll be back uh, at the end of the month and show you what I've done. And um I just thank you once again for coming along, and if you liked it, please hit the like button, and uh, see you next time.